Okay, two things before I start the video. Number one, I am really sorry this has taken so long to be released. And number two, please remember that this video is heavily subjective. Whether you like my shinies or not, I'd like to hear your opinion, but I would like to ask that you don't leave comments like, this shiny isn't bad, why is it in the video? Also, I want you to keep in mind that not every shiny in the video is one that I necessarily dislike. I just may have what I think is a better idea. Now, on with the video. Now, Sans Slash is one of my childhood favorites, and I think its shiny is pretty cool as well. It's pre-evolution, however. It's green, debatably the most hated and overused color for shiny Pokemon. It's not even a nice shade of green. I decided to take a little inspiration from its evolve form and make it red for this. I also changed the hue of its underbelly a little bit and lowered the saturation slightly. I think it looks pretty cool with this color scheme, and while I don't think it's necessary, the fact that it better matches Sandslash's shiny is... kinda nice. Speaking of Sandslash... God, I love Alolan Sandslash, maybe even a little more than regular Sandslash. Despite this, its shiny's pretty lame in my opinion. The white underbelly turns dark blue and... That's it, nothing else changes. It doesn't really look bad per se, but it's not a big enough change. Again, I took a little inspiration from regular Sand Slash and used red, however I didn't use it for the spikes. Instead I used the red for the main body and turned the spikes grey, which I think makes it look a little more like a steel type. Something that I think the base design and colour scheme doesn't show very well. And before anyone tries to explain why it's a steel type, I know the Pokedex says that its spikes are metal and they're just coated in ice. I'm just talking about appearances, and I don't think regular Alolan Sand Slash really looks like a steel type. Ooh, okay, time for an easy one. A shiny form that is so obvious, it's hard to imagine why it isn't the official shiny. In episode 1, we had Nidoqueen. And now we have Starmie. Why does it not just keep the awesome colours of Staryu shiny? I mean, I don't hate shiny Staryu by any means, but I don't think anyone would disagree that shiny Staryu looks a hell of a lot better. Okay, I think it's time to explain myself a little because it's another green shiny. I don't hate the colour green or anything, but it seems like the majority of green shinies are ones that have designs that just don't really look right in the colour. Hitmonchan's one of those Pokemon. I kept the blue boxing gloves from the original shiny because they look pretty cool, but rather than green, I changed Hitmonchan's skin to like a pale purple colour. I also turned the tunic and shoes like a dusty yellow colour as well. If I'd kept it the same purple colour, the whole thing would just look like one big purple blob. Since I'm talking about it anyway, does anyone else think Hitmonchan's body looks kinda like Saiyan armour, or is it just me? You know, I didn't really realise how many Gen 1 Pokemon were in this episode until I actually sat down and looked at it. I'm still kinda hazy whether I wanna call Alolan forms Gen 1 or 7 too. So I guess they're just going to sort of exist in limbo for now. Either way, let's break it up with some Gem 4 Pokemon, which personally I think contains some of the coolest Pokemon in the series. Leafeon is one of those Pokemon whose shiny really doesn't change much. It just kind of gets a little lighter and maybe a little more saturated. I went with the tried and true method, for grass types at least, of changing them to autumn colours. Oh, so nice. This is also actually one of the hardest shinies I've had to do, because after changing the colours, I had to re-blend them, otherwise there was this really obvious line of pale green. Hey look, another Gen 1 Pokemon! Oops. Abra, much like Leafeon, is another of those shinies that just kind of barely changes. Gets a little bit paler, which is kind of odd considering by its final evolution it gets a lot darker with bright pink armor. But for this one, I kept with their theme of making it paler and just sucked all the color out, turning a golden Pokemon silver. 
I did actually toy around with making it pink and purple, but I didn't think either colour worked really nicely with the design. Darn fan's so cool. I can't explain why I like it so much exactly, but I just love it. Shiny Darn fan, however, is one of my least favourite shinies from Gen 2. I might even go so far as saying it's one of the worst shinies, full stop. It just looks so ugly. A muddy green body with bright orange for the shell, it hurts my eyes. Now my shiny Dan fan's colours are inspired by its pre-evolution Fampy, with a blue tinted body and deep red for the shell. It is so much easier on the eyes, though I'll admit its current shiny really screams ground type. Mine, eh, not so much. Okay, tell me, which Scyther on the screen right now is Shiny? And there's the problem with Shiny Scyther. It's one thing if the colour doesn't change much, but when the change is so minuscule that it's actually hard to tell them apart, that's a big problem. Now I turned the main body purple so you could actually see a difference, and then I used this reddish pink colour for the uh, segments between the exoskeleton as well as on the blades. It's actually a little story that goes along with this one too. Back when Alolan forms were first announced, I started thinking of interesting things I could do with the mechanic, and one idea I came up with that was a bug poison scyther, which would have been in these colours, hence the link and why I'm bringing it up. Uh, which would evolve into a completely different Pokemon altogether, rather than making a Lowland Scizor to go along with it. I would actually still like them to do something along those lines with regional variants, but now I'm just getting off track. Scyther's shiny barely changes. Scizor's shiny would have been better off if it barely changed. What's Game Freak's obsession with Snot Green? and it is so much worse on a Pokemon as cool as Scizor as well. Initially, I actually made Scizor purple like the Scyther you saw a second ago, but I kept tweaking it little by little until it just sort of turned blue. I'm glad I changed it though, because the blue looks pretty sweet on Scizor's design. I changed both its eyes and the small eye-like markings on its claws to pink for pretty much no other reason than it popped out a little. One of the color I tried was green, but I can't really explain it, something just looked off about it. it. Didn't exactly stand out for the right reasons. And now we come to the last Pokemon of the video, Infernape. This one's pretty special because it was actually requested by a viewer. Uh, side note, if any of you guys want me to take a crack at creating a shiny for a specific Pokemon, just let me know. Now, personally, I quite like Infernape shiny. For some reason I've got a thing for fire types turning pink, kind of like the Magma line. Plus, Infernape is based on Sun Wukong from Journey to the West, like Goku from Dragon Ball, so I like to think shiny Infernape is pink because it's using Kaioken. Alright, time to move on. I, uh, I actually created three shinies for Infernape, uh, in part to increase my chances of creating something Mr. SMG would like and in part due to me being really, really indecisive. There are quite a few Pokemon that I've made multiple Shinies for, but until now I've just felt the need to narrow it down to the best one. From now on though, I'll be showcasing every idea I come up with for each Pokemon, providing I don't like one vastly more than another. Uh, as you can see, each Infernape has the same blue flame and brow, as well as grey fingers and toes and red, um, uh, whatever those things are supposed to be. The difference in each obviously being the main body colour, claret, blue, and black. My favourite of the three was initially the claret bodied version at first, but after a little tweaking I think I like the blue one more. Seriously though, everyone I asked had a different favourite out of the three. Either way, out of these three I hope I've managed to provide something that you're happy with, SMG. Alright, so before ending the video, I want to apologize again for the, uh, for the length of time it's taking for this video to come out. I don't have 
an excuse, really. If you guys want to see any more shinies that I've uh, tried to improve, then you can check out the first episode. It's, uh... Well, it's a little bit worse than this one, I think. But, um... Good news is you'll only have to wait another 10,000 years for the next one. Yay. Until next time, guys. See ya.